And I'm assuming growing up, you didn't think like, oh, I'm eventually going to go work for Barstool or a company of that nature. I didn't plan on being in media until like Barstool hired me. Yeah. Like I, I was doing like different sales and I was in manufacturing and uh, I was always like, I was a hockey player and I always, I always liked Barstool. I started reading Barstool when I was in college. It was just like uh, Dave would put up a PDF mm-hmm. of the newspaper that he was handing out. Portnoy put up a PDF. And so every two weeks, I would just like read the updated one because my, my best friend from uh, college was a big Boston guy. So he introduced me to it. And I'm like, this is really, really funny. So I just got hooked. And they announced they were coming to Chicago in 2012. I was, had a job that I like hated and i needed like a hobby and i liked it so back then the the way barcel was structured was that you have like a main guy running like the site for the city so you have like dave and then like the if you're going to do like an org chart like every like new york philly boston Mm -hmm. chicago we all had like a head guy and then he would have like a guy covering each team underneath him so i'm like i'd love to be the hockey guy and i had a blog that i was writing my own for a different work project so I had like some writing samples and some mm-hmm. background and the hockey background. So I emailed him. It was like right in the beginning of uh, the playoffs for the NHL in 13. And then, but it was just like a fun thing. Mm-hmm. I never, tr- I was never trying to be like a media guy. It was just like, I wasn't getting paid. And, it, and I, but I just thought Barstool was cool. And I thought this would be like a fun thing to do in my free time. And it grew into something that I never envisioned.